All right, so I have a little story. Um, when I was in college, um, I was in this college that had a co-op program, and which meant that uh, students were uh, in school for six months and then working for six months, which meant that after about four and a half years, students had only about a six-month attention span. Um, <laughs> Um, and in one of my jobs, I was, uh, school was in Philadelphia, um, and I was working for the Philadelphia Zoo. And, and actually, I wasn't working for the zoo. I was working for a television station that wasn't on the air yet, but was going to be on the air and wanted some local programming. And so they placed a few of these co-op students at the zoo to do research on local programming. Like, we were actually going to produce something at the zoo, because we were just walking around looking at the animals. Um, and uh, we were looking at the animals trying to think, okay, could we do a show about the penguins? I don't know. Um, could we do a show about the deer? I don't know. And you know, you have like 20 year olds walking around the zoo going, you know, I like the popcorn vendor. We could do a show about the pop. You know, we were just wandering around thinking, what can we communications majors, see, do, do a show about, right? What can we do? I mean, yeah, see, now they're laughing. Yeah, I was a communications major, and they put, like, me in charge of, you know, of communicating. It's, it's a mistake. And so we were going to all the, all the lion, all the, all the animal things, and, and the cool thing about working for the station is that we could get behind the scenes so we could see, you know, the front of what everyone else sees, sees and then the zookeepers would take us behind and we'd find out what all the behind stuff. And so the, um, the large animals uh, um, section, can we do a show about lions and, and tigers? Sure, it's a little, you know, it's been done. It's with lions, tigers, bears. Sure, fine. Yeah, we can do that show. What do we do? I don't know. So we go behind the scenes, and the zookeeper's like, yeah, here's a lion. It's, it's feeding time, um, you know, such and such time. We just throw in the meat. It's a big tray. They attack it. It's done. It's, you know, it's, it's not all that big a deal. Um, but you see the fur that comes off the lion? And they're like tufts of fur. Wow. And is it, you see that fur? If you collect it and then put it in a little baggie and take it home and then expose it to your cat, they go crazy. <laughs> and I thought, I hate cats. <laughs> this is perfect. Why hadn't I heard of this before? You know, this is great. So, um, and you have to wait until, the, and I couldn't reach in to the tank and get the top. So the lion keeper could reach in and get some tops and he gave it to me. So um, I was then trying to figure out what cat can I do? And, and he didn't really specify what crazy was. You know, do they jump off a bridge? Do they, you know, do, you know, do they, you know, shoot themselves in the head? I want to know. I'd like some sort of preview of what the crazy thing is. You know, do they just uh, go into a deep depression and they stop working and, and <laughs> yes, yeah, they start smoking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I and I and I couldn't really find a cat. I, eventually, I think I gave it to a friend's cat, and he just smelled it like. Yeah. <laughs> oh man! Yeah, lied by a scientist. Uh, uh, by a scientist again. It's like, but if you get a chance to go to a zoo. I would like you guys to do this research for me because I want to know. I want to know. Because, you know, I'm not fond of, I'm allergic to cats. I'm allergic to cats. And I would like to find out what that relationship is among the cat kingdom. You know, can you really make a cat go crazy by, you know, exposing it to lion fur or tiger fur? Who knows? Who knows? That's all I got. <laughs>